This is a Baby Zen yo-yo that we got in for a general overhauling, which means that we're going to be washing the textiles, and we're going to be going over the entire stroller, checking various uh, mechanisms, um, lubricating those mechanisms, tightening the stroller where we can, and just generally putting it in shape, uh, as well as cleaning the chassis itself. So the first thing we're going to do is to remove all of the textiles so that we can put them in the machine uh, for a quick wash. Uh, you want to wash it on 40 degrees. And uh, we'll start with the canopy. It's a matter of removing some Velcro around the back. And here with the handles. And then there are these, uh, these little um, string hooks that would have gone down here over the edge of the canopy. They've already been detached. You do want, do want to detach those. Then you can pull out the canopy rib on both sides. And there is a second canopy rib here. And that allows you to completely detach the canopy. Then you can pull out those ribs. And now this part is ready for wash. Then we're gonna move on to the seat. With the seat, there are these little hooks here at the top. You can just unclip them. And then down here on the front end is a Velcro strap. So you want to attach that on both sides. third velcro strap here and then there is one here in the middle on either side as well there we go Here, the bottom end of the handle, and then you can slide the seat off of the backboard here. Now you can just throw this whole thing in the washing machine. There's no additional boards in the fabric itself, uh, and uh, you really don't have to worry so much about the buckles. Good to wash it though on 40 degrees or less. The last fabric element that we're going to remove is the uh, shopping basket and that's a matter of two velcro sleeves along the front end of the stroller three velcro strips in the very front Two in the back. Now these in the back, I uh, very often notice, can get frayed here. Uh, so if that's the case on yours, you might want to consider also doing some sewing repair uh, while you have this off. Uh, these are okay, but very often this plastic starts to cut through the strap itself. In any case, I now wait, shake out some leaves and stuff. I now have all of these uh, fabric elements and I'm going to put them in the machine on 40 degrees. Okay, now we're going to go over the entire chassis and the first thing we're going to do is uh, tighten all of the little screws here and we're going to lubricate uh, various points on the stroller. So this is the CRV T25 head, it's one of these star shaped heads and you just want to work your way around the chassis and give each of the screws a good tightening. Um, especially if you've noticed anywhere ahead of time that's a bit loose, uh, then you want to maybe focus on those areas. So I'm not going to do it all on video, but just work your way around the chassis and look at the different screws. Uh, then you want to move on to lubricating the stroller. And there are two types of lubrications that I typically use. Uh, the one I use most commonly is, uh, this is CRC556, but it's essentially WD-40, so something like that. Uh, that's going to be very good in um, matters where you're dealing with a lot of metal and moving metal parts uh, or if you're dealing with areas that the mechanism is kind of complex and you can't get to the inner part of the mechanism without opening up and you don't want to open it up. 
because there's nothing actually visibly wrong with it. Um, this sort of an oil will work its way down via gravity nicely into the mechanisms. Uh, the other sort of lubrication that you might want to use in some cases is silicon spray. Uh, silicon spray is mostly for plastics and when plastics uh, touch each other, you know, multiple moving plastic parts, it will not only uh, lubricate the areas between the moving plastic parts, uh, but will also kind of coat the plastic and provide a uh, protection layer. Um, for that reason, this tends not to work its way down into mechanism so well because wherever it sprays on, it begins to dry and uh, produce that protective layer. It also will um, uh, leave a certain film on the outside that you'll want to uh, wipe off at a later time. So uh, where I would use silicon spray on this stroller is places like here and here where you have these larger plastic joints because I can spray right into that crack and uh, it's not so deep that I can't trust that some of the silicone spray is gonna make its way in. Also, the button mechanisms at the top, a lot of plastic. So I'm gonna use the silicone spray here and then flip it on its side and use the silicone here around the button and uh, you can do it on the other side, of course, as well. Anytime you turn something on its side in order to lubricate, you wanna leave it for a few seconds for it to uh, work its way in. Uh, and then I'm gonna just work the mechanism a little bit to help spread that uh, lubricant around. Let's see, here as well, same sort of deal. And here, all of the major folding joints on the stroller work quite nicely with silicon. Where I'm gonna be wanting to use the uh, WD-40, or in this case, CRC-56, is the swivel front wheels. And you can even flip this stroller all the way on its back if you notice it's having swivel problems and spray in so that it can work its way down into this mechanism. Give it a little bit of a twist. And then uh, most importantly, an area that does actually have trouble, uh, have problems with the Baby Zen is the ball bearings on the wheels. So spray it, allow it to work in a bit. You can see that this ball bearing here has actually rusted tightly around the axle. So that wheel might need to be changed. I'm not gonna do that on this video, but we have uh, shown in other videos how to take this wheel off. And you can find online, I've seen it on uh, Amazon, other places, uh, sets of these wheels, both the front and the back wheels. Uh, we have videos that show how to remove the back wheels as well. Then on the back wheels, you also then want to be using the WD-40 type spray on the ball bearings. And I'm going to be doing this with the brake system as well. Uh, when it comes to the brake system, it's a little hard to show on video. Let's see, there's a pin here. When you work the brake, it pops up into the, uh, the uh, teeth on the inside of the wheel. So you want to just flip this up on its side and then you can spray some in. I wanted to use that little uh, straw attachment that comes with the spray grease. And then flip it over, of course, and do the other side as well. So that's pretty much all of the lubricating and tightening. Of course, while you're doing this, you can uh, identify any areas that are not being fixed by tightening and lubrication and might need to be replaced. Um, other than wheels and some of the accessories, maybe straps, things like this, uh, it might be a little bit hard to get uh, parts. Um, I generally don't have trouble with this uh, easy fold mechanism, but if you do find it a bit tight, that's another area that I would probably use silicone as the, that, that pedal is uh, just a big lump of plastic you probably could use a little bit of protection of course work it a bit okay the last thing we're going to then do is to clean the chassis itself uh, the key reason for doing this last is because you can also then use this stage to get rid of all of the uh, excess silicone or grease that uh, is still on the outside of the stroller uh, from spraying up the mechanisms. So what we're going to use for most of this is just a generic watered down cleaner and a towel. 
um, where you come across areas such as scuff marks uh, or these white areas on the wheels, uh, then we can apply a little bit heavier duty methods. And uh, that's primarily going to come in the form of a microfiber sponge, um, which we are first going to try with the WD-40 or just with the simple watered down cleaner. Um, but areas where it's, it's uh, a bit harder, where there's paint, especially with scuffs, uh, where you might have uh, banged the stroller up against a wall, then you might need to uh, use a little bit of nail polish remover. Uh, I recommend being a little bit careful though on that, uh, using that, and just doing it in sort of a spot type uh, method, as it does tend to remove some of the outer sheen uh, of the paint, um, including on the plastic, whatever's been treated on to make it shiny. And on the wheels itself, with um, Baby Zen, I've noticed that uh, the wheels are actually painted white. So even though it will remove everything and make it very nice and white again, uh, it will get a bit sticky for a little bit until uh, until the whatever underlayer has kind of dried. So it's better to try first, simply by using the uh, natural uh, coarseness of the microfiber uh, and some sort of soap agent uh, to try to clean things up. So then we're going to uh, start with all of the uh, more difficult areas. And that's gonna be like the scuffs, uh, scuffs from paint, generally you are going to have to resort to the nail polish remover and the microfiber sponge. And you can just clean them off one by one. Work your way around the stroller. Uh, as far as the wheels, we're going to try with a little bit of WD-40. The reason for that is that sometimes uh, there's like oxides and dirt or grease from roads um, or and not in this case but sometimes there it might be rust splotches in this case it's very, very nice uh, and the uh, wd-40 helps to um to act as a solvent and reduce the sticking effects of stuff like that uh, but in any case, you want to then uh, use combinations of WD-40 or nail polish remover with your microfiber sponge to clean up the difficult areas. And then you can just kind of start going over the whole thing just with some water and soap and a uh, terry cloth towel. So let's go work our way around the chassis. That is uh, pretty much it as far as what we do for a full overhaul of this stroller. Uh, if you're curious about any of the steps and need to see them in more detail, please do look on our channel. We have uh, several Baby Zen videos and several videos just dealing with different parts of cleaning and repairing strollers in general. And you might find some other videos that might be a little bit more specific and helpful to you. Uh, we hope though that you have found this video interesting or useful. And if you have, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.